Hey, everybody. Welcome in to Nobody Cares Drink Whiskey. Whiskey, I'm Blondie. Behind me is The Beard. He's the bartender today for our four rye blinds that we've got going on. Um, you can see these beautiful samples in front of me, which he has labeled A, B, C, and D. I am a rule breaker, so I will not be going in that order. Um, in fact, I think today I'm going to start with the D. So I'm just going to jump into it. Don't like long introductions. Hope everybody's having a great new year. Let's get going with this ride blind. Okay, D first. Some vanilla and some apple in here on the nose. Mm, okay. Little burn, but not bad. I'm gonna have one more taste. Can you guys all hear my kids? They're gaming over here. We have three boys and they're over here playing Minecraft. So if you've got kids that do that, you know why I'm in here doing blind. So on the palate, there's less fruit than there is on the nose but it's really smooth. Um, it's thin, so you don't get a heavy mouth feel. Um, I like this one. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Okay. Now I think I'm going to jump to, actually, let me write a note real quick. Okay. All right, Mr. Beard. Let's see what you got. I'm going to be, oh, this seems much more citrus on the nose. Mm. Sweeter too. But more fragrant, if that makes sense. Mm. Okay. Oh, this one has a much heavier mouthfeel. Less burn. One more taste for flavor profile. Hold on. Mm. This one actually has a really mild flavor profile. Um, there's some vanilla and some caramel in there, some spices, uh, maybe some type of a really light pepper. Mm. I like to be more than D, except for the mouthfeel. I have to keep track or I'll do this too much and then I won't remember what I did. Let's go with A now. So make sure you guys tell us in the comments um, what you've got going on for the new year. Have you cracked open any bottles that you already love, whether it's scotch or bourbon or whatever it is let us know um do you have any whiskey goals for the year are you trying to get someplace are you trying to try a specific bottle acquire a specific bottle let us know in the comments about all of that okay this is a hmm sweet on the nose again thinner mouthfeel than B for sure. Might be a little bit heavier than D. And I'm not getting any fruit on the nose, vanilla, caramel maybe. Um, and as far as the palate goes, I feel like I'm not as good at this with the rise as I am with some of the others. It's definitely more of a burn. And again, a very mild palette as far as flavor profile. Some, I feel like they all have some of that vanilla 
um, B was much spicier than D. D was much more fruity. And A is just very mild. Um, I almost feel like some people might prefer A chilled. I'm really curious what these are. The little note is over here. I'm being watched like a hawk by the beard to make sure that I don't cheat. And I don't mix them around. Okay, here we go. So you can see, look at the color. Okay, so much, much darker here. Oh, this smells really sweet. Really sweet on the nose. And I'm just making some notes here about A, so I don't forget. Okay. It's quite thick. Okay, really sweet. Okay, this one, the mouthfeel is very similar to A. None of them have anything on D. Hmm. No, B. B is going to stick around for a while. This is why I make notes, people. <laughs> This might be the sweetest of the bunch. I feel like I need to go back and try D and compare it to C. To C. It's definitely not going to be A or B, I don't think. Okay. Let's see. I really feel like they're all... I can't wait to find out what they are because I do feel like the palette on them is very similar. This one is a little bit spicier though, even though the nose is super sweet. Um, the palate is, is much spicier. Okay. I'm going to go back to D. I need some water. Do we have water? Well, when we drink whiskey. We drink when whiskey. we drink whiskey, we drink whiskey. When we drink water, we drink water. It's just easy to rinse. And if you guys don't know, that is a reference from The Quiet Man. That's a John Wayne movie. It's one of our favorites. If you guys haven't seen it, um, highly recommend. Obviously, we are huge John Wayne fans here. You are in our basement bar. So welcome in. With my kids right outside. <laughs> and the beard is being amazing and getting me some water so that I can kind of get a break in my palate in between these rides that I feel like are very similar. So we will take this time to let you guys know that you can find us on Instagram, Nobody Cares Drink Whiskey, Facebook, Nobody Cares Drink Whiskey, uh, TikTok, Nobody Cares Drink Whiskey. We are all over the place. Um, so please friend, follow, there it is, some water. Thank you, Jared. Okay, very sweet on the palate, thin. Back to the D. Okay, now let me compare. That's what I like to hear. That's what you like to hear. See, guys? Right now I am comparing C and D on the nose. And now D and B. Okay. So I'm going to stick with comparing D to C right now to see which one is going to be in my top. C has much less burn than D. Um, I don't care one way or the other about the burn, but I feel like overall something that has a little bit less burn is probably going to be a higher rank for me. And just so you guys know, I am not the person that does the blind and guesses price points. That will be left up to the beard. So you guys will have to wait until I do a blind for him, for him to discuss price points. Um, he will help me discuss them uh, once we reveal what they are. Um, but as a reminder, we relocated from the West Coast to the East Coast and all prices are area specific. So don't take our word on what they're going for. Well, gosh, I must have liked C the most. Okay, that's a really tough call, you guys. I think I'm going to say C, D, 
and B and A were a hell of a tie. So let me smell. Oh, this is really oaky now, now that it's been sitting for a minute. Mm. This is B. Hold on. Okay. Mm. That would be my teenager bouncing his basketball. The perils of doing these from home. Okay. And once again, I'm just trying to get my order down for B and A. Okay, you guys. So my favorite today. Well, let's go least to best. Oh, you want to go least to best? No, mm. Okay. So my least favorite today was B. B. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the list, you guys. Okay. Least favorite today. Oh, my least favorite today was Willits. This is the small batch. Okay, least favorite. Will it? Got it. And can you ballpark a price point on the will it for me? Oh, that bottle was picked up in Vegas. I think we paid $65 for it. 65 bucks. So remember that that was when we were in Vegas, which was some time ago. Um, and everything has inflated recently. We won't get into that. And this one's a 106.2 proof. 53.1%. Baby. I liked it. I would drink all of these again. This just would not be my go-to. I did not have anything that I tried today that I hated. I did not have an Ardbeg today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> not an Ardbeg fan. Okay, so B was Willet, and that one ended up after it sat very oaky on the nose um, and spicy on the palate, but was relatively... Thin. Yeah, we didn't mess around with scotches today, just rise and bourbon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, literally, the reason I mention Ardbeg is because it's the only thing I've ever tried that I didn't like. Okay, next, A. I feel like I should be finishing these as we discuss them. Let me finish B. Double rye. Okay, the High West Double Rye. And if you guys saw my earlier video that I did, I actually discussed High West Midsummer um, Night Dram, which I absolutely love. I'm kind of surprised this didn't come in higher, but I have seen people say that they were not a huge fan of this particular bottle. Um, so we've got 46% ABV. Again, I love their beautiful bottles. Um, you can check out, when you check out High West's website, you can see where they have their bottles made. And I, from my understanding, there are only two different types of bottles that they use. Um, so really neat. Okay, and so that was my number three choice. Okay. And this bottle, when we picked it up, well, it was just under fifty dollars at the time. Okay. And again, that was in where was that? This one was picked up in Vegas. In Vegas. Okay, so that's a West Coast price. Yeah, okay. proximity to Utah. So. <laughs> True. Yes, they're in Utah. And did you guys know? I just learned recently that the High West Distillery is like the only ski up gastro distillery in the world. I didn't know that. Um, but I thought that was kind of a cool fact. And they were what? The first legal? I believe they were one of the first new distilleries that got a license after 1897. Yeah, in cool. Utah, right? Yeah, I was drinking. Yeah, it. it's pretty cool. <laughs> Go figure, we were drinking. But check them out. High West is pretty cool. We're really familiar yeah, with them. Hold me to that fact. I don't remember everything. Okay. And I'm old. Next. <laughs> He's not old. Don't let him tell you that. Next is going to be D. I'm really disappointed that D didn't come in higher. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a pin hook. <laughs> as soon as he pulled it up, I recognized it. I mean, it's second. It came in second. That's not bad. You should always be first. Oh my gosh. 
The D should always be first. He's right. So this is 46.75 ABV and 93.5 proof. This came out of lot one. Again, that's pin hook. Was this also a Vegas acquisition? That one was a Vegas acquisition as well. Okay. Um, I think that one ran in the 45 to $55 range. I can't recall. Okay. And so you guys know, he actually cracked that open for this blind. We have quite a few pin hooks, as you can see back here. So it was actually over here. If I had been more astute, I probably would have realized the second green pin hook was gone. Okay. Hold on. And then number one was... Midwinter Night's Dram, which I just said earlier today, I absolutely love. Again, Hi West, great, great job. Yes, and here it actually says on the back of their bottle, world's only ski and gastro distillery. So definitely, guys, I really recommend checking this one out. It's delicious. Even in a blind, it's my favorite one. Um, it is Sweet and smooth, I have to say, I was surprised at the heavy mouthfeel compared to the other three. This being one of my favorites, I never really noticed that it had a heavy mouthfeel. Um, but yeah, sweet and smooth and so good. Getting harder and harder to find and more expensive, so I recommend. Let's make a correction. There we go. It's the beard. Now we have it in the works. So I recommend absolutely getting a bottle of this. It's so good. If you get a chance, it has gone up astronomically in price since we got that bottle. And if you watch my earlier video, you will see that um, I actually am debating about not drinking that anymore because I love that for a nightcap. And I'm afraid to run out of it because it's like triple the price from when we bought it. But right, so this is X seven C six, and the D comes in first. <laughs> the D came in first. There you go. How did that happen? I didn't even have that much to drink. Magical. You guys, this is what happens. Magic happens. So it was the D first. This is why I keep him around, so he can keep my shit straight. And I love him. It's been twenty one years. All right, you guys. Well, let me know if you have tried any of these we've got the high west double rye the high west oh there it is high west double rye the dram will it we've got pin hook so if you've tried these if you love them if you hated them let us know we want to know what you think um and yeah go get a bottle of the dram if you can I know markups are crazy, but it's worth it. It's so good. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Look next for one of our reviews that we do, bottle reviews. We do a three and three, which is where we touch on three things for the bottle in three minutes to keep it short and sweet for you so you know what you're looking out for next. All right, guys, happy new year. Thanks for checking in. Thanks Get subscribed for checking in. That's right. Nobody cares. Drink whiskey.